Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I'm a really, really big fan of YouTube. I spend a lot of time um, every day watching YouTube videos and I find YouTube a really, really good way to uh, learn about topics as well as reading. So right now I'm uh, learning about sustainability for professional reasons. And something I personally do is create a lot of playlists. For the most part, the playlists are public uh, because I don't see the point in them being private. Anyone's free to uh, look at my bundles of videos. Sometimes they're private, uh, but either way, there's a lot of them. So sometimes I think I'm creating all this data in YouTube. It's kind of bewildering because I need to be logged into YouTube in order to, lo in order to access my private playlists. And it's just not, I mean, th there's a few ways you can access your own playlist. One of them is through YouTube Studio you have a tab here for playlists and you can actually search through your own playlist. So if you have a bunch of playlists created, uh, this is one way of narrowing it down a little bit. The, another way is by going onto your YouTube channel and clicking on the playlist tab. And it's a bit less powerful because you can filter on a date playlist by date added or last video added. Um, and if you go into the all playlist tab, um, then you can see your uh, your playlist and the playlist that you've saved uh, from other people. But in any event, if you wanted to take that data, that playlist data out of YouTube in, or in order to, let's say, um, create a blog with your YouTube playlist or just pipe that into a spreadsheet so that you could go through your playlist without having to necessarily navigate to YouTube. So there's a few ways, um, as always, with data stuff, there's more than, more than one ways uh, of going about doing that but I'm going to show in this video uh, one of the ways so that's as follows that is uh, creating an export just for the YouTube uh, playlist data so your starting point is the Google takeout engine and you want to create a new export and uh, by default it's selecting the majority of products so you want to just firstly deselect all then you want to scroll down to YouTube and if you click on this uh, date this uh, three things here you'll see that even within each Google product you have an option of what to export now if you do want to use Google takeouts for an actual account export you probably want to get everything and you want to get everything in YouTube but it, it's if you just export the playlist you're going to get a it's going to be a lot quicker because the playlist data is pretty light and it's going to be a lot lighter as well. So just deselect everything that uh, YouTube is preparing to bundle up in the takeout. Just click on playlist, click OK, and then go through the rest of the export process. You know, you want to take the link via ex via um, via email. I always go for a TGZ because I use Linux and it's easy to open that format on this. Um, and it means that I can just get minimal archives. Given that Playlight data is pretty light, you're probably only going to get one archive, even if you just use the default uh, zip format. But I'm going to set it to TGZ, and I'm going to go ahead now and create this export. Okay, so after the uh, download is finished, you're going to get an email, or you're going to just get a link in the Takeout Manager. I've gone ahead and um, extracted that archive, and what the way it delivers your playlists is that you're going to have each playlist you've created as a CSV file. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead now and just open one. So every every single playlist you create on YouTube, irrespective of its privacy settings, you're going to get as a CSV, and I'll show you what one, play, one playlist looks like on the inside. So here's what the data actually looks like on the inside. This is one of those CSV files open for a playlist. Now, um, one thing to point out is that the URLs are not intact. It's in an internal YouTube format. I'll just explain how to actually make those useful. So at the top here, you have the playlist ID and you can see that it's an alphanumeric string. Then you have the uh, channel ID and again, it's an alphanumeric string. You have a, a timestamp for when the playlist was created, when it was last updated, the name on YouTube. In this case, it's video blogs. Description, uh, this is from my business YouTube channel. And then you have the visibility over here, which is set to public. Then all you have uh, for the actual videos that are uh, contained in the playlist is the video ID. And each video ID is again an alphanumeric string. 
and then you have the time added in universal time coordinated when each video is added to the playlist so in terms of data liberation this this method of getting data um from takeouts it's not great because you know it doesn't contain the video titles in uh, human readable format or uh, those videos whether they're public or private um, you, you know you can't actually read it all you're getting is those strings so if you did want to um, actually locate any of these videos what you would need to do is if you take a uh, random video URL on YouTube and I'm just going to paste one here into the spreadsheet you can see it's youtube.com forward slash watch question mark v equals and then a string so what you could do is just uh use a um you know use a formula on your spreadsheet and uh append that part of the url into the video id here and that would convert between video ids and actual urls that you could open on youtube so i'm going to do the same thing for a uh, playlist if i just copy a random playlist into this cell here then you can see the string for a playlist is going to be youtube.com forward slash playlist question mark list equals and then after that equal sign you're going to get an alphanumeric id that's going to be the id there so again if you do the same uh, spreadsheet substitution you would just need to basically swap out um, add this into this field and you'd convert between the uh, raw youtube playlist id and a url that you could actually open in a browser so this is one means of extracting your playlist data from YouTube using Google Takeouts.